Alright, so I'm back. Some things have changed and I've lost quite a bit of footage. Um, unfortunately I deleted it. I had um, about, oh I don't know, I'd say two full episodes worth recorded. And I fucked up and I deleted it. And I got two more pouts to load up on my uh, trailer there. Anyway, um, things have changed. The harvester that I had, which would be this model right here. Let me just show you. What the crap is that? Four in one. Yeah. Okay, fifty thousand, ninety-five thousand. Hmm. Okay. Oh, this is actually uh, one of those mods that's really cool. I didn't realize that this is going to be a little bit of a mod review at the same time. I haven't actually used this yet, but um, I can tell you right now that it's actually pretty damn neat. Uh, what this is, this is a, um, this is a, uh, I believe it is a PTO, actual PTO instead of just a regular trailer hitch. So if you're harvesting something like, uh, wheat and, uh, straw, this will leave a uh, straw windrow thing and you can run a baler or auger wagon behind this I think don't quote me on that and this over here I don't know if it will actually extend it could extend but uh, I'm not 100% sure on that if it does extend then what this would be for is this is your um, auger pipe that empties the grain from uh, well from here and what this would do you would hook up a trailer to this like a tip trailer of some kind and then you would obviously um, extend this out to where this would reach it and um, it's it's basically so that you can do solo It's actually pretty you know, neat. Uh, I haven't actually noticed this one before because I just installed this mod uh, recently. Anyways, um, the mod that I had before, the one that I had before, was this one right here. The, the limited edition ideal um, Agco thing. Uh, I had this one because it was real pretty and I like this color. I still like this thing. It's actually really cool. Um, let's see what was I going to say. Oh yeah, I had this and um, I had the header for it and what I did to make money I had 1.1 mil at one point in time. Almost 1.2 mil. I bought this field and I harvested it in corn and then I sold the field and I sold the grain then I ended up selling uh, quite a bit of my um, grain equipment I had a, um, a bin here for uh, grain and there's all kinds of crap it's kind of annoying having to actually explain it but um, I was venturing into grain farm now I am not venturing into grain farming anymore because I realized that um, for the amount of money that you get from uh, silage at even 450 for a thousand liters, each bell that I have is 20,000 liters. So no matter how many uh, liters of grain I ended up getting, it was nothing compared to what I have right now. Let me just show you. The total number of bales 
beforehand was a hundred and something. Now it's three hundred and fourteen. I think the total number was like a hundred and thirty seven. Um now it's three hundred and fourteen, so I have a lot. As you can clearly see. This entire area, everything that I own, is grass. The legal kind. I might add. And so, you know, I, uh, I mowed and felled the grass. Unfortunately, I deleted that footage, so you can see the after results, but you have no way of watching me do it. Because I deleted the uh, footage by accident. But it's no real big deal, and it doesn't really matter that much. Anyways, I bought some horses. This is where a big chunk of my money went. I bought some horses, I bought four of them, and um, they are, they start out at, you buy them for $5,000, they instantly drop to about 2500 And then, as they, as this progress, the money goes up. So it starts out at 5%, and it's like worth 5000 or something like that. When you first get them, they're worth like 2900 The first day, you're going to get to 15%, and... I think each day is 10%. They actually need hay and oat. Because they're hungry bastards. But anyways. They're okay on food and water and stuff. But they need a little bit more here shortly. Anyways, as I was saying. As this progresses, these become worth $50,000 each. So, if you don't get too attached to them, then you... Buy four horses, and in ten days, you make ten thousand or two hundred thousand. You spend twenty thousand, you make two hundred thousand in ten days. That's how the horses work on this game. So, what am I going to be doing in uh, in this episode, other than rambling on? Well, I'm going to be uh, collecting the bells. So. You're about to see a very long uh, time lapse. It will probably take me roughly an hour to do the uh, time lapse. Well, I don't know about an hour. It, it may not be that long. Oh yeah, by the way, before I forget, I actually have a uh, bell stacking place. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try, you know what, ain't nobody got time for that little thing over there, it has, it holds 42 bells each, or uh, that trailer holds 8 bells. What I'm going to do is quite simple. Gonna buy me a blacked out Peterbilt. And then I'm going to buy I don't know how many bells these take. Wrong one. Whoops. Hundred bells. Supposedly this could take a hundred bales. So you know what? Let's test that theory, can we? I'll just uh sell that. And I will uh and cover and let's go navy. Don't crash my game. Hope it don't break my game.
So I have nine hundred thousand dollars almost even. You may notice that the actually hang on, let me let me fix this real quick. Oh, that's better. I can actually hear the damn engine now. Anyway, I was going to say, you may notice that the engine is quiet on this because I have the volume turned down. I just turned it up. So I'm going to take this tractor as I run off the road and run into every sign that I possibly can. I'm going to take this tractor that has 3.6 hours on it and I'm going to go get my new bailing trailer. This supposedly holds a hundred bells. So I will either find out real quick that this breaks my game. Or uh, let's see. to select 1.3 meter round bells. I hope that we'll actually um, get the ones that I want to. But we'll just have to see, I guess. If this holds 100 bells, then holy crap. I bet I have more than one trailer load full. I'm just betting I do. Look at that, they're all rolling down. There's one. Well, so far so good. Montage time, anyone? Or time lapse, rather.
Alright, so I'm a dumbass. I thought I was freaking recording when I unloaded those bells. I got a lot of money out of them. I mean a lot of money. But anyways, I had 163 total as you've seen in the time lapse if you kept count. Uh, also as you've seen in the time lapse, it took me a while to get used to the trailer. Once I got used to it, it was decent though. Um, I should have parked these a little bit, uh, a little bit straighter, honestly. But it is what it is. Anyways, um, this is an auto loader as well. It holds 16 bales instead of 100 or 100. Um, it, it's. I don't really like having the crazy, uh, weird mods like you know the 100 meter plow the 50 meter cedar or 100 meter cedar and like all that stuff they're cool and all but i don't really have a um, use for them in this particular series because i am trying to make it a realistic ish type series after all and i can't really do that when um well when uh, when I have crazy mods on, which there's nothing wrong with the crazy mods that I use, but, you know, I like the mods that I use, actually. Uh, anyway, so, what I was saying when I wasn't recording, when I thought I was recording, it wasn't, I may or may not have mentioned this in a previous episode, I don't even remember if I have or not, but I have a big move planned. I'm planning on moving possibly back to Ravenport. I know I enjoyed my farm on Ravenport and it sucks that I uh, had to give it up. And for those of you that actually don't know, um, my computer crapped out and I lost uh, I lost my uh, save files and all my mods and stuff. But anyway, uh, back in, back in the character news. So, I needed, uh, roughly two mil cash to, um, to start to move. And I believe I said in episode nine, I'll have to go back and watch it. I believe I said that by episode 30, we will know where we are moving. Well, I know that I am going to be moving by episode 15. Again, moved on episode uh, six because of uh, reasons, and on episode fifteen we will be moving again. Now, where I'm moving to, um, it's a place called Mercy Farms. You may or may not have heard of it. I think I'm going to move there. I think I'm going to. Um, I'm gonna test it out and see if I actually like it first, but I may move there or I may move to uh, The Clover Creek who knows the bad thing about Clover Creek is the ma the fields are so freaking huge They're nothing compared to Michigan, but still they are freaking massive So I mean that's one of those things where like you know There's a lot of stuff to do on a map like that why don't I go for a ride up as I'm talking? I'll take, uh, let's see. Is this rusty? Which one's rusty? Oops. Wrong tab. Rusty is the spider one. Yeah. Let's just go here. And. Just uh, go for a little bit of walk around the grasslands. Now, what I do have in mind of doing actually is um, getting the 50 meter cedar thing and planter, and actually just planting all of this in grass that I can actually grow, like grass that I actually uh, need to fertilize and all that stuff. And. They must have changed something or I have a mod on. I think it I think it's one of the mods that I have. Uh 
But as you may or may not know, I am addicted to freaking mods. Like, I am actually legitimately addicted to mods. Like, uh, let's see, the game itself is five gigs. I have about fifteen gigs in mods. So yeah, that uh, that should tell you something there. Anyways, um. I'm just gonna go for a little bit right here. And yes, I am playing as a female character because that, uh, that's literally the only reason I'm playing as this character is just literally because that's the character that was picked. So, it is what it is. I don't really care. You're in first person 99% of the time anyway, so what does it really matter? It doesn't. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. And... Uh, the next video I will actually go a little bit more in depth of uh, how to train your horses and stuff. Which, a brief demonstration is literally get on your horse and ride it. That's literally what you have to do. Just get on your horse and ride. Like, if it's not if that's not the simplest thing to do then I really don't know what is but um, anyways I'll see you next time if you made it to this point in the video thank you for watching and like comment subscribe the whole nine yards you know the drill thanks for watching again see you next time later